The POEM study was a phase three randomized study looking at whether suppressing ovarian function during adjuvant chemotherapy or neoadjuvant chemotherapy could reduce the risk for long-term ovarian failure in premenopausal women with ER negative breast cancer. So premenopausal women were randomized to receive either standard cyclophosphamide based chemotherapy alone or cyclophosphamide based chemotherapy with the addition of gazerolin that was started about a week before the initial chemotherapy dose and continued throughout the chemotherapy treatment. We then followed these women for a variety of ovarian function endpoints as well as pregnancy outcomes, disease-free survival, and overall survival. A primary endpoint of the study was ovarian failure rate at two years. We defined ovarian failure as the absence of menstrual bleeding for the prior six months as well as an elevated FSH um, in the postmenopausal range. So we had uh, about two-thirds of the study population had full primary endpoint data where we had FSH levels and data on menstrual function. So for those patients, uh, we restricted the primary analysis to those patients that had full primary endpoint data. In that group, we found a significant reduction in ovarian failure rate with the addition of gazerolin with about actually a 70% reduction in the ovarian failure rate. We also looked at other measures of ovarian dysfunction and at two years found that pretty consistently women who received the gazerolin had better preserved ovarian function. When we looked at pregnancy outcomes, we found that there was also a higher rate of achieving pregnancy and having successful births in the women who received the gazerolin. There was no evidence that the gazerolin increased risk for miscarriage, need for elective termination, or other adverse pregnancy events. Finally, we looked at disease-related outcomes. The uh, gazerolin group, interestingly, had an improved disease-free survival as well as overall survival uh, compared with the control group in the study. The reasons for that are not entirely clear, and this certainly warrants further study. Um, but uh, right now, we believe these findings are extremely reassuring regarding the safety of this approach in women with ER-negative breast cancer. So we feel that based on these data, women with early stage hormone receptor negative breast cancer or perhaps women with other diseases treated with similar chemotherapy should be offered this intervention if they're interested in avoiding premature menopause as a consequence of chemotherapy.